What's up, YouTube? I'm X Team Modder, and this is um, a new special for you. And it's only the second episode, but I haven't updated it in a while, so I'm bringing you two new things. Last episode, you saw the flame gauntlet. I have since updated that. However, that will not be showing today. However, I have two new guns. My AAA battery assault rifle. It's a 10 millimeter round holographic sight. Built out of a Nerf gun. No, it does not contain any of the Nerf gun insides. It is just pure, mainly aesthetic reasons. And um, this battery pack, which has the compressor battery pack and um, the cable, the cable that connects it to the solenoid. Solenoid is the main mechanism in this. It is just the simplest thing: raw components, valve. There's a get tank in there, as you can see, solenoid and barrel. It doesn't have a clip yet, but I intend on putting on a clip later. Currently, it's just a model one. But that does have some advantages, as I'll be showing you the harpoon shot, which only works at its maximum potential when this it doesn't have any splits in the barrel. Now, jack it up. First things first. You've got to connect this cable into here that allows us oh, that is what powers the solenoid see if you were closer you'd be able to do the clicking of the solenoid second one is the compressor now this one is an assault rifle it's, it's semi-automatic and it's designed for um loud go straight in there combat so the sound of it is not taken into account yeah first things first Charge it up. I'm going to show you the 80 shot first. Fires should be around, it's putting the bar, but um, it can either fuck four of these from the cut clip, which I'm going to put in very, very soon, or it can fire 15 ball, one, um, 10 centimeter, 10 meter, which is one centimeter ball bearing. Right, now that's loaded up. I'm going to show you the shot. PSI and that went through two pieces of cardboard, hit the plywood sheet behind him and bounced right back at me. Yeah. Now the rifle, the compressor will be and the battery pack will ideally be housed in a small backpack or belt or well or a waist um, container but currently um currently they just fire it like this i'm hoping to put the compressor switch there so if you just press that compressor runs and uh let go fire run the compressor fire it charges up pretty quick takes one to two seconds for a 60 psi shot um a bit longer if you want more powerful uh, the maximum i've ever fired this out is about 90. 90 got a hell of a lot of damage it shredded the what it, it shredded the cardboard both layers and the plywood I was shooting at. And um, if you look at the cardboard I'm using, yeah. if you look at the cardboard I'm using, it's pretty tough stuff. It's not the usual stuff you find from boxes, etc. And here is where it tears right through. That there, where my finger comes through. There was the last shot. That was just one layer of it, there's two layers. Now I'll show you the bonus shot, which is this sharpened piece of wooden dowel. Fits perfectly in the barrel. We're going to do harpoon shot. If you've seen Call of Duty, um, in the mission where you're breaking out of prison, the shotgun loaded with the harpoon. Kind of like that. Taking up two. 80 PSI, ready, set, yep. Ooh, cracky. and that's the AAA M4A1 assault rifle. We'll be finishing with the paint job, oh, shit. it's battery pack, 
and uh, an attachable and detachable laser sight or bipod. I decide which. Now, I said I have two weapons for you here today. And um, that one's the latest one. It took about two days worth of effort, which was total about two hours. I'm kind of lazy like that. And um, I'll shoot the clip in the clip on it soon. But um, my next gun is one is my baby, the big Gahuna. 20 millimeter sniper rifle. Real scope. Real scope. Bolt action. Though I'm changing, I'm upgrading this from this ball valve to um, a much more powerful solenoid valve. Recently, tactical light. Grip, inbuilt grip, which serves as part of the gas tank. Um, and finally, my favourite option, an inbuilt compressor, meaning you can get th you can get three shots out of this, a three shot burst. So if you fire, fire, and then you empty the tank with the final shot. Now, if you're constantly charging, you can keep this up for around about 16 to 17 shots, and then you have to stop and recharge. But usually, um, the first thing that runs out, all my guns run on um, a 12 volt DC drill battery. But the main thing to worry about with this thing is running running out of battery because it does that rather quickly having the compressor and built. It fires. 20 millimeter, it's a 20 millimeter barrel, fires these mouse ball shots, though I have used bigger rounds with it, such as um, a one kilogram aluminium round. We don't quite know the range, but it's bloody powerful. Alright, go all the way back, check that it's cocked, and then, um, sorry, say 100? 100 or so. Okay, sorry. The stock, the side is detachable. And you can just use it as a regular assault rifle, though it used. Oh shit! Oh, no, it has um, a three bullet clip. I limited it that because it's a bloody powerful gun, and it's meant for paintball. These are both meant for paintball or small airsoft battles against my friends, because we're not they're not legal in my country. But these guns are because they're made from pommel parts. Right. So let's get the compressor ready. Yeah. So let's just give it a little slap. There and for some reason it's not charging up. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, the gauge is broken, so I have no idea what this is at. Hopefully not too much. Ready. Aim. Fire. Hmm. The valve's playing up. But, um, that punched a pretty big hole in the cardboard. Hang on, just let me get it up quickly. So, yeah, I'm actually in mother. You can think it, I can build it. shot. Um, it's going to take a while. To, it, it might slow down charging or cut out even because the battery pack isn't full and I haven't charged it since I was using the 20 mil. But anyway, here we go. First shot, 80 psi. 